Did you use any of your own designs as well? I did. I did some, some. But my, I, I used points of my things. I didn't use a lot. My shop is young, it's downtown, it's more, it's not an uptown, you know, 30 year old stop. It's younger, it's ki college kids, it's, it's art very artistic and uh, expressive. However, the carry necklace came from my shop, for example. The carry necklace, You know, for me, it was in my life. The kids from the boroughs, they come to my shop. That name necklace was something that black kids, Puerto Rican kids, borough kids, ethnic kids had been wearing forever. It was just a staple. So I was like, let me show her a carry necklace and maybe she liked the idea. And I had one made up with her name and she liked it. After all, it was a piece of New York, a real piece of New York. And it wasn't just Manhattan, it was from outside Manhattan, from the other parts of New York where the people live. And somebody like Carrie, living in New York, would have caught it somewhere and seen it on somebody and liked it. So it had that reason for being. Were there any outfits the first season that stood out to you when you look back on it? Well, the big thing from the early days that stood out to me was the um, the uh, tulle skirt. I, because we were doing the opening credits, so we were going to shoot the opening credits. So it was, you know, there was conferences about it and so on, and um, I. Uh, I was in a showroom and there was like a bucket, like a thing, a bucket on the floor with like I don't know, $5 each or something, I don't remember. And I pull out this like tool skirt and I'm like, I don't know, let's just take this. We'll see. So when I showed it to Sarah Jessica, she loved it. And I said, yeah, okay, so uh, we'll put it with a little t-shirt and, and she loved it. It was, she felt it. And then we had to convince Darren, which he didn't get it. I don't blame him, it's not his thing, you know, but, and we were coming to him with something strange in his mind. And we had to try to convince him. Well, she, I mean, Sarah Jessica put out an all out campaign for it and uh, that helped. But the, the story is that we shot, we had, we had four options and we shot, I think two or maybe three. And because the bus and the water, we had about five of each one that were shot. And in the end, they chose that one. Do you remember what any of the other options were? There was, um, a, there was a, a two tone dress of red and turquoise, slim, sleeveless, open neck. They liked it. I didn't, but you know. And then I can't. There were I can't remember the other ones, but I remember like the leading up to this and trying to convince everybody about this, because this was the most original. And I tried to say, look, this dress, this turquoise and red dress, is from now. It's a contemporary now, 1995, whatever. This is going to be on the opening credits for the show. Whatever she's wearing has to be completely original to last in time. It can't be something from fall 2000, whatever, that you saw and you saw the dress. So I tried to convince them from that level of, you know, just logic, not fashion. And um, between me and Sarah Jessica, it got shot along with the others, and in the end, it won. So.
That is what I remember the most about the early costumes.